Naito to make his way back to the stage. We see the main stage slide coming in. Smash.gg slash main stage. Do get $5 off your registration with the code 2GG, so be sure to use that. Mm-hmm. Everything looking good. Got to run it back in Ohio, so remember in a... Yeah, for all of you Midwest people, that's another great opportunity coming up. We're heading straight into Grand Finals. Valadin on loser's side versus Naito in winner's side. Two of SoCal's best unranked talents coming in and going for what promises to be an explosive matchup. Back off of the Mario and back into the Lucino, which is, of course is Valadin's main. Ooh, just doing all these focus attacks, trying to find his way away from him, but Nito and Naito actually putting in a lot of work. Yeah, Dalton Slash, but, out of shield. Oh, this is where this is where um, Ken has issues. He's in disadvantage state. He can't get off this ledge for love nor money. Exactly, but as oh, we he footstooled him. Good night. That's a stock. That's an early stock as well. Within 40 seconds, and those were the types of early stocks that Valadin was unable to get in winners finals. But now that he's in grand finals. Hopefully he'll be seeing those a bit more often. The sure you can not gonna kill DI to the corner. Yep, can't roll against Ken. It's so hard. It's so hard to deal with the auto turnaround coming in from the Street Fighter characters. Tatsumaki sends him all the way to the ledge and he has him trapped. Good read though with the down tilt in the opposite direction. Well, that's one of the issues you have to deal with when you're fighting these uh, Street Fighter characters. It automatically turns them around. It does. There's the heavy jab, and man, now Vladin's having issues getting off the ledge against Ken. Yeah, some of the key to Naito's success all day has been these ledge traps, and especially with these combos connecting fully or almost fully. Missed on that heavy jab. Ooh, he, he wanted something. He was looking for it. Perhaps he was looking for a roll that never came, just got up in place there. Yeah, and there's the slow Hadouken into the jab. Not going to kill. Oh, he went he went hella deep for that. Oh, missed out on that up tilt. That up tilt would have been a confirm. There's the dancing blade. Not going to fully connect. Yeah, Ken just grabs the ledge. But oh, he wanted that, but that's going to be it. Up tilt to um, Flame Shoryuken. Yeah, this is looking a lot better already for Naito. This is looking like a repeat of Winner's Finals. Mm-hmm. Got himself off the ledge. Nair's coming in. Oh, he... I thought he was going to let that uh, focus rip. But good stuff coming in from Valadin, jumping away immediately. Yeah, retreating fair has been such a comfort option for Valadin this entire set. If you don't want to go up close, that's taking advantage of Lucina's range to the maximum. Dolphin Slash out of shield does not connect. The Shoryu not quite either, but the parry will lead to another Shoryu. Can. Good DI, though. Traps him with the, with the Hadouken. In the back air. Uh, not going to go for another one. I'm not quite sure why Valadin opted not to go for the counter. You could tell Naito only had one option. It's yeah. so hard because, like, you have you don't know how fast it's gonna come out because that move comes out like frame frame too fast. But excellent work <laughs> from Naito closing out game one with another Shoryuken, this time on top of the platform. Yep, and uh, next game, Vladin's still having issues dealing with Naito's pressure. He's lost four consecutive games going back to winner's finals with this Lucina. His prospects are looking pretty dismal, but there still is a couple of games and enough time for a comeback if he's willing to, if he's able to get this adaptation. I feel like as soon as Valadin wins that first game, it's gonna be trouble for, Nate, uh, for Naito. Right, just needs one game taken for the floodgates to open. All these jabs coming in, all this pressure, still throwing, uh, still throwing Vladin off his groove. And one thing I haven't been giving Naito enough credit for is these parries. They've been immaculate thus far, and when you can get a down tilt or some sort of combo started off of them afterwards, they're just that much more useful. Another one comes out right there. Oh, got him with the heavy jab. 
There we go. Is he gonna go for anything off stage? No, not gonna go for anything. Down too tilt. crazy, but he got him with the down tilt too. Heavy jab. He's gonna take out that stock. Just as the legend invincibility expired, wanted to go for the nair to get him off stage for good, but still had that just enough to make it back. Once again on that ledge. Oh, that's a that was a risky dancing blade, but he really wanted that stock, but good recovery. Yeah, that could have been a Terrible, terrible error. Oh, but he went deep. That's what he's supposed to do. Yeah, excellent work. That is how Lucina takes stocks early. Just go for edge guards against characters with linear recoveries. Down throw to up air. Not gonna confirm. Not gonna keep going though. You got. You have to respect that focus. Near through and under the platform from Valadin. Naito this time waits for Valadin to make the first move. Mm-hmm. No up tilt. Oh, nice up tilt, but couldn't really finish off that combo. Lucina's Dancing Blade falls out of it before the finisher can hit. Up, and there's the, going to be the stock that's going to be a heavy jab into Shoryuken. Now Naito has to play with one stock ahead, get this rage, and get as much percent tacked on as he can to get the extra credit rolling. Gonna go for the sh uh, the Hadouken, just get himself some space. Finally finds that opening, and now Vladin's in trouble. Excellent work, another down tilt, another combo starter. How many times have that been put in? Not only in this series, not only against Vladin, but all day. Oh man, the almost taken out of the so stock. Small. Oh, there's a heavy Shoryuken, and that is gonna get punished by an up smash. There was not really much he, uh, Mito could have done. Yeah, now Valadin has Naito down to his last dock. The Tatsumaki back on stage, but up B, the Shoryuken will end him and drop him on the platform. Nair's coming in. Going to go for another one. Oh, there's a four tilt. Getting him off stage. This is what Valadin was looking for. This is the, like, that kind of pressure. Oh, but he couldn't get, he missed out on the pivot grab. It was just a little, like a hair off. Now it's time for Naito to press the issue. Just goes for these jobs beneath the platforms. Mm-hmm. Another fair will send him the other way, and the Nair will get him off stage from Valadin. How will he return? Nair. Safely? Oh, missed out on the second hit. Forward tilt. Fair? No? Not going to do it? Game two hanging in the balance here. You could tell Naito wanted to go for the reverse aerial rush back air, but does not connect it. Oh, there's a, there's a heavy sure you can. Oh, he missed out on the confirmed. That was definitely, that was definitely a misinput. Aladdin just throwing out these nares and these heavy pressure situation. There's the heavy kick. Not going to be the stock just yet. No, it's Naito's turn for the edge guard. Connects one Hadouken. Makes it back safely with the Dolphin Slot. Oh, he wanted that anti air. Not going to work out. But Nair will take him from one end to oh, the Oh, he got him with the other. reverse hit. That's not what he wants. Focus is he is dead? Through. He had. What? Oh, he's back. dead. No, he's alive. Dolphin Slash will get him almost all the way, but not quite. Oh, too Tyler early on the counter. Ran out. Here we go. Is this the pressure? Oh, there's the heavy jab. That's going to be the stock. Good stuff coming in from Nitha. Naito just caught wind of that, and Valadin dropped shield a moment too early. All of a sudden, he is one game away from taking Hat 78. Mm hmm. Uh, Naito has been putting in work. It's Valadin's. Looks like he's finally kind of figuring out the matchup, but it still hasn't fully clicked to him. It still hasn't fully, like he hasn't got that, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. He, he's starting to get a feel of the game, but like I, it, it might be a little, it might be too little too late. Yeah, we saw glimpses of it. We saw these times when he was edge guarding him very well, but just couldn't finish the job. Mm -hmm. There's these up airs coming in. Oh, now that now Valadin's finally getting the spacing down. Missing some of these techs won't help his cause either. There's the Nair. Gonna catch him on that on that platform. Gra and all this damage coming in from Nito though. Nair. This oh, nice job coming in from Nito. That back air was unexpected. I didn't see that. I would've got hit by that back air Both too. Both of them at 83%. A bit more coming in from that Tatsumaki. And now Ken will start to push the advantage. Nito misses the tech, though, gets up in place. Oh, shield break. And that's something he will take <laughs> Let's get any that day push. of the week. 
another one. Another shield breaker will send him right to the corner. Oh, he tried to get that little that little pressure. There's the heavy kick coming in from Ken. Focuses, just pulls out though at the last moment. Yeah, he thought he was gonna go for the neutral getup. Couldn't if he did turn it around, he wasn't gonna reach um Aladdin. Another fair will take him off stage. This rage once again fueling some of these fares. Oh, he caught it. He caught it, but he didn't believe in himself. Yeah, spot dodge out of the way of a follow-up. Oh, there's a heavy jab, though. Neat, uh, Nito have been, has been doing really well on, like, utilizing the hell out of that heavy jab. He certainly has, and this back throw coming in from Ken will get him right back to where he wants him off stage. Oh, Trapped missing on the jab, the ledge, I mean, on the grab. Yeah, waiting for it. There's a Nair. Oh, there's a Shoryuken going in for the medium. And the landing Nair. This oh, time, that another itched. heavy jab. What skill. And now only one stock away from taking this entire tournament. Don't let Nito go for it. Get these confirms. He's been on a mission. Certainly. Oh, he went for it all. Oh, but no punish coming up from Valadin. That's 17%. Off the Tatsumaki and another 41%. Oh, he went for that. That dare, not going to work out for him. Valadin trying to get a pivot grab. But, and he's still having, he's having so much problems closing out stocks against uh, Nita. Yeah, Valadin just running out of air at the moment. He can't keep trading with them. Trapped on the platform, the sure you can not quite, but again, not too far off. And at 92%, another one might do the trick. Oh, heavy jabs, just trying to get keep him out. But there's the bear. That's going to be the stock, but he needs to gimp him. He needs to gimp him now. He needs to gimp him yesterday. Oh, he didn't believe in that one either. Fair. Not going to connect. Miss tech, though. Oh, these these jabs coming in from Nito. The up oh, there's the... There it is. Good night. That's going to be the tournament. Nito taking it 3-0 against Vladin. Vladin having such a hard time figuring out the matchup. Yeah, there was nothing he could do when you just get caught in those situations. Nito's Ken putting in work all day gets 3-0s in winners and grand finals. Congratulations to him. Your Hollywood Action Tuesday's number 78, Victor. Yeah, it was just really.